Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11. So we have our 11 11s right there. This is Monday through Thursday. Now, you know that I am using my Radley Valentine decks. I am going to use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I will pull one from my Guardian Angel cards, and I will then finish up the reading with my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the introduction, for right now, I am going to do an overview with my Osha Zen Tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay, we are on the other side of our new moon. We are, oops, card flying, coming to that full moon. There is lots and lots of air, um, ener not air, well, there is air energy, but there's a lot of pressure on us right now. And we come to Thursday, which will be 11-11. So we do have some number energy right there, too. So lots of stuff happening, um, you know, not, you know, a lot of other um, people who do what I'm doing or other people who do, you know, astrology um, are talking about the pressures that are going on right now. So, but the thing is, it might be world pressure, but we still have to live our lives. So let's see what we have. One card flew out. I also want to thank people who, um, who, were, who have been so supportive to me while I was sick in October. I am, you know, almost better. My voice is holding out quite a bit better than, and quite a bit longer than normal. And I also want to thank the people who um, did the super chats and also who donated to my PayPal um, account. So I thank you for that. I don't ask you to do that. So when I see that, it just touches my heart. So thank you so much for that. Now, I am... Um, an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the messages. Let's see what we have with these cards. This is the one that flew out. Ordinariness. Okay, so we have a number eight. Remember, the numbers are very, very important. Ordinariness is a, and this is one of the things that we're trying to achieve. One of the things we're trying to come back to. Now, when I say come back to, uh, you know, and I said this in the beginning of everything that was happening, you know, that that's now past. We just want to be able to enjoy our lives. We just want to be able to just do the ordinary things of life right now. So this is something to strive for. This is, you know, many times over, you know, we'd always want something a little bit more exciting, a little bit more because we are, you know, being human and being having a human nature, we are we do strive. We do want some goals. But this is going to be a good week just to have some ordinariness, okay? Just to live our lives, have our day-to-day -day type of activities. So I have been also talking to you because, you know, we've been having a lot of solar storms, lots of different energies going on, you know, squares and just really the pressure is on. So what this is something to strive for. Be in the present. Don't necessarily think back to the past except to learn from it, but don't necessarily look too far into that future because the future only scares us, only provides worry for us. Stay in the present, day by day type of energy here. Okay, this one, let's see. This one, ah, uh, I don't like these guys. This is six. Six is the uh, number of man. It is what we put into a situation, what we put into a project, what we put into ourselves. It's our energies that we put out there. Now, if you've ever followed, if you've been following me and I, whenever I've used these, I don't like these guys. These guys are swarmy. These guys are just, they're just slimy, slimy, slimy. But yet at the same time, it talks about compromise. And, you know, we always hear about there's two sides of every story. The truth is somewhere in the middle coming to a good compromise, which in itself is not bad. But sometimes, you know, sometimes the compromise leaves us kind of slimy and oily. Okay, so I think that in this time, we need to be careful about what we are compromising on, what we're willing to give up for whatever we're to receive on this. The, and again, if you know me, if you've been watching with when I get this, these guys, 
I don't like them. They're slimy, and usually it means that the compromise is going to be better for the other side, the other person, the other energy, than it will be for our own energies. Okay, let's see what we have here. And again, that one was reversed. Reverse cards have a little stronger energies. Next card is, this one is going to be reversed. I'm learning the backs of these. Here we go. Maturity. Okay, maturity. So, what does maturity necessarily mean? Does that mean that something is growing, you know, growing up? Um, well, you know, something is actually um, developing, um, you know, so there is, there's some things that we want, there's some things that we need to be careful about, and there is, you know, when I tell you that, yes, we do need to live in the present, we do need to come to that higher level. We are in a lot of ascension type of energy, and I, when I look at this, when I'm looking at her, okay, let's see, it looks very feminine and feminine in nature, flowering, colorful, um, you know, coming to a higher level, a higher, you know, a higher plane, coming to understand more and more and more. So there is, I mean, there are things that you can take on a lot of different levels here. Um, you know, we can take this as a day-to-day. -day. We can take this as a global. We can take this almost as a universal type of energy. The thing is, again, we need to stay in the present. We need to watch out for these swarmy, swarmy guys. I don't know who they are. I never like them. You know I don't. They're oily. They're slick. And they want to take from you as opposed to um, help you. But then we have maturity. And sometimes with maturity, there comes wisdom. Interesting energies for this week then. Okay. Let's see. Did I tell? Oh, I didn't tell you. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Thank you again. Let's start our readings now, okay? Hello, my Libras. How are you? Are you feeling a little bit more in control of the situation? Your, your energy has, has smoothed down a little bit more, So, but we still have all of that Aquarius energy going on, and you are an air sign. Aquarius is an air sign, too. So let's see how this week plays out what the energies are like for you, my Libras. Here we go. Glasses on, too. Okay. One reversed. Reversed. For my Libras. Here we are. Okay, first card. Oh, some changes are coming, and will you take them? Will you reach them? Will you take your leap of faith? Zero is God, source, heaven, and energy. So, you know, it's kind of like this is things are opening up for you. What are you going to do about it? Now, Leap of Faith is Archangel Metatron. Metatron believed to have been Enoch before the flood. This is following your heart. This is also, well, you know, pretty much believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. When I see the leap of faith, a lot of times that has new beginnings. I know ones have that new start, new beginnings too. But this is kind of like a new opportunity could be offered to you. Listen to, what, you know, what is it that you want? Some changes happening. Are you going to follow it or are you going to do the same old, same old? Which is fine too. You know, these are choices. Choices are coming your way. Choices, you know, and this is actually life-changing choices. Here we go. Next card is the Five of Ariel. What would keep you, though, from making some of these changes could be a little bit of worry with your money, worry with your job. Fives has some change energy, positive, negative, really doesn't matter. It can all be very, very stressful. Ariel is our Earth energy. You know, we do have Venus is in Capricorn, but it's Capricorn energy. It's Taurus energy. The full moon is coming in Taurus, so that's going to be good, positive energy. It's also Virgo, money, job, career, possibly even your home energy here. This has a little bit of worry about your money, okay? This has a little bit of worry about that home energy too. So it's kind of like, well, how do I take a leap of faith when I don't know how I'm going to pay my mortgage? How do I take a leap of faith when I don't know... You know, it, you know, when I need a paycheck. And you're right. Those are very real concerns. I'm not going to tell you not to, you know, that that's not. When, so like I say, when you make a choice to not make a choice, that's still a choice. And that's okay, too. Leap of faith, though, regardless of what the change is coming, what regardless of what the change brings, is also about you connecting with your higher power, your angels, spirit guides, whoever that is, and kind of saying, hey, I need some help here. 
You know, I need some stability here. I need to know, I need to be, in order for me to do what you want me to do, I need to have some security. That is not unreasonable to ask. Truly, it's not. It's truly not. And in order for you to do what you want me to do, I need my bills paid. Okay? It is good. It is okay to put that out there. Now, a lot of times, and again, we're new moon to full moon, so this is, I want my bills paid. I want the money to come in. I want to know that I'm going to be that I'm going to be secure in whatever it is I need to be secure in in order to take this leap of faith. Now, unfortunately, sometimes I've had to take the leap of faith only to find the security afterwards, but it's not unreasonable to ask, okay? Because if you don't ask, the answer, you know, you don't know. The answer could be a no. If you do ask, it could be a no, but it could be a yes also. But the five of Ariel is also reminding you you, do, you, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecy. So remember, thoughts, words, positive. Here we go. If you're going to prophesize over yourself, you might as well say, good stuff. Reversed, the nine of Michael. So here, this is all just kind of saying, you know, you're in your mind. Things are just all kind of messed up. Where am I going to go with this? So we have a 059, or we can go 950. Nines have the information. You have everything. Let's wrap this up. Michael is your energy. It is it is Aquarius. There's a lot of stuff. You know, if you watched the beginning of Scorpio season or go, go on my website to look at the stuff, there's a lot of crunch time energy going on with Aquarius. Okay? Aquarius is, and I said that in the beginning here too, Aquarius is put, you know, Saturn in Aquarius, squaring with all, you know, all the stuff. It's putting pressure on a lot of energies. And again, for this, you know, Scorpio season and for now also. But the nine of Michael, Michael, your energy, Aquarius and Gemini energy, thought processes, hearing news. Nine of Michael is kind of saying, get out of your head. Stop thinking things through like this. Stop, and you know, like where it says, you know, um, negative thoughts uh, create self-fulfilling prophecies. Start looking at what the positive is, okay? It's, it's saying, you know, things will work itself out. Stop, you know, basically get out of your head. Get, you know, your mind is playing tricks on you. Your mind is making things a lot worse. So the nine of Michael is your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire, release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So it's interesting. This is all about, this is worry, you know, this is those things. Yes, living in the living in the physical. This is living in the metaphysical. This is living in the natural. This is living in the supernatural. And you've got a little bit of a conflict this, this coming up week. But the thing also, while this might be, you know, this might be your conflict and your worries, there could also be things coming to you that help to resolve a lot of that. So maybe you're worried about a job, money, you know, any, you know, your housing, things like that. And then something comes to you and it's like, oh my gosh, a door opens. Okay. So let's see what we have with the guardian angels. But remember, keep, keep looking beyond, you know, don't look, you know, I know that I was talking in the introduction to be more in the present, but this is also you know, what is it that you really want out of this? Okay, here we go. Reversed. Three of emotions. Now, three of emotions is the three of water, three of cups. Um, this is the three of Raphael. This is celebratory energy. This is um, creative energy. This is also um, very powerful energy. You say something, do something. You know, three times there's the power of threes, okay? Strong stuff. But this is the crazy ladies in the rain, dancing in the rain. This is, you know, having their cups up. This is also about celebration. So all of this worry. So you've gone from taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. Oh, did I do the right thing? Am I going to have the money coming in? Well, then the three of emotion says, yes, wonderful news is on its way announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. This is what I think for you. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. So 
a lot of this is worry that, you know, can we do anything about it? If you can, then do something about it. But if we can't, let it go. Okay? Oh, one more thing. And, you know, believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. Okay, let's go right over here now. What crystal or energy for my Libras we have? And let's go here, here, here. This is reversed. Blue kyanite. Interesting with this because this is, oh, I, okay, I can see where this is all about. But connecting with animals, telepathic abilities, finding your true path. That goes with that leap of faith. Also, finding clarity. Okay. I know, it, yeah, part of it's kind of a mind game here, but that leap of faith and that three of cups, three of emotions, that has a lot of um, positive, just, you know, it's just kind of like when you're given a choice, it's like, oh, do I do this? Ah, oh, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, but it's your choices. Okay. My Libras. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. You help keep my channel going, and I thank you. As always, know that you are loved. Stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.